Hi. Hi. Keep smiling and we'll bring more sun. <laughs> I'm Viviana Borio, the interim president of Seton Hill University. Welcome to the groundbreaking for our new Health Sciences Center. This is an exciting day, despite the clouds, as we proceed with what's an important strategic building project for the university that's grounded in both our mission and in the unmet needs of the region with regard to healthcare services. Thanks to all of you for being with us today. And I'm happy to tell you that President Seton Hill President Emerita, Joanne Boyle, is joining us virtually, always with technology. <clears throat> you guys jumped your lines. Joanne's watching our program through a live stream video. So what I'd like you to do is the folks in the back just turn around and wave and the folks in the front stand up and wave. So we can sit say to Joanne, we're thinking about you. <clears throat> Everybody's waving, Joanne. Now I'd like to acknowledge the presence of a very large number of honored guests. First of all, the Seton Hill University Board Chair, Michelle Ridge. <laughs> and all the very distinguished members of our board, and they are very distinguished. And Sister Catherine Minor, Provincial Superior of the Sisters of Charity of Seton Hill. And all of the Sisters of Charity who are with us this morning. Mr. Art Boyle. And members of Joanne's family seated right here. the Seton Hill University Alumni Association Board President, Annette Holder, and members of the board. <laughs> Congressman Tim Murphy. <laughs> Representative Tim Krieger. <laughs> Westmoreland County Commissioners Chuck Anderson, Tyler Courtney, and Ted Kopis. City of Greensburg Mayor Ron Silvis and members of the city's administration. <laughs> Sue Trout and Barb Champini, and I'm never sure I got her name right. <laughs> Donna Bates from the Economic Growth Connection of Westmoreland. <laughs> Stephen Gifford of the Greensburg Community Development Corporation. Sharon Nyes of First Commonwealth Bank. Mike Langer of the Westmoreland Cultural Trust. Al Filoni and representatives from our architectural firm, McLaughlin Cornelius Filoni. And representatives from our construction manager, PJ Dick Incorporated, including Executive Project Manager Justin Howell. From the beginning, excellence in science education has been a Seton Hill hallmark. Today, the health sciences continue to represent some of Seton Hill's strongest academic programs. Our Physician Assistant Program boasts an almost 100% first-time graduate pass rate on the Physician Assistant National Certifying Exam. This program also has been named one of the best graduate schools for health by US News and World Report. And I'd like you to give a hand to the folks at the table in the back who are some of our uh, physician students. <clears throat> health science enrollment at Seton Hill has more than doubled during the last five years. And as enrollments grow, 
We are dedicated to providing students with the facilities and the resources to match the caliber of its programs. And we have some students from some of the other programs on both sides. I hope you have a chance to see, uh, have some of the talk with them about their displays and what they're doing. Today marks an historic milestone in the life of Seton Hill. Our founders, the Sisters of Charity, were always looking ahead. And that pioneering spirit is best exemplified by our motto, hazard yet forward. I'm delighted to invite Sister Catherine Minor, the Provincial Superior of the Sisters of Charity of Seton Hill, to offer our blessing. Thank you. She moved my page. <laughs> I, just I just want to echo with her. Um, thank you for so many of you coming. It shows the commitment you have to this to Seton Hill University. It's very, very impressive, and we are moving forward. That hazard yet forward really means that we're risk takers, and that has been true. That's what the Setonian philosophy has always been. So I'm, I'm just happy uh, to see so many of you here. You know, Mother Seton loved creation, and she understood that all the gifts of the earth were to be held in reverence and stewardship so that each generation could enjoy them. That is the gift of learning science. We are constantly discovering what God created for us. The learning of science, whether it is global or health, is the discovery of what God has given to us. Science and religion are so intertwined. So often it seemed as though religion was on one side and science on the other. That's just not true. God is the God of science. We simply discover what God has in place. I always want to, uh, when I've taught science to the young children, you know, say something like radio waves. They've always been here. We discovered them, and so now we have cell phones and this and that, but they've always been here. So how proud all of us are to be part of providing the new Health Science Center so that future knowledge can be realized through our students. And so I ask you, let us pray. Good and gracious God, we come today to celebrate the expansion of science on our university property. As a Catholic university, we understand that we are always learning and discovering the uniqueness of all knowledge of which God is the author. We especially thank you for this moment of celebration as we break ground for our new science center. We humbly ask you, Lord, that you be the guide and guardian as we proceed in the construction of this building. We dedicate the future building to you and ask that no harm will come to those who will work to bring this building to its completion. May this building be under the protection of Elizabeth Ann Seton who loved creation. Gracious God, we ask your blessing on all those who will teach and inspire in this building and upon the students who will come to study and be the future for us. We ask this as we ask all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Catherine. We're grateful for all that you do for Seton Hill and for the enduring role of the Sisters of Charity in the life of Seton Hill. Now I'd like to ask Michelle Ridge, our board chair, to take the podium. Thank you, President Forio. Love to Joanne. Um, with such gratitude, I'm so proud when I look back and see that big sign. This is indeed a special day for Seton Hill. As an honorary co-chair of Seton Hill's campaign for campus expansion and renewal, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the special donors and friends who have helped bring us to this moment. The Richard King Mellon Foundation, 
The foundation provided a $7 million grant to the university, the largest in our history, toward the construction costs for this new health sciences center. The Catherine Mabus Foundation, the foundation that provided a $1.5 million gift toward the project. The anonymous donor who provided Seton Hill with a $750,000 commitment. Dr. E. Ronald Salviti, who provided a half a million dollar gift, and the trustees, alumni, and friends who have supported this project with gifts totaling more than $3 million to date. I am delighted to share with you today that the Board of Trustees has decided to name the Health Sciences Center in honor of Seton Hill's President Emerita, Joanne Woodyard Boyle. Thank you for such a generous response to that, and I know Joanne is beaming right now. She has been such a courageous leader for Seton Hill. Her tenure was marked by addition of programs of national prominence, including the LECOM at Seton Hill Pre-Med Opportunity, the university's highly ranked physician assistant program, and most recently, the Center for Orthodontics. No other building represents better Joanne Boyle's vision for educating healthcare workers and physicians. We know the naming of this facility for Joanne will honor her enduring legacy in a powerful way. And I am pleased to tell you that Dr. Salviti's pace setting gift of a half a million dollars initiated a three and a half million dollar challenge to support the naming of the Joanne Woodyard Boyle Health Sciences Center. As of today, gifts and pledges received in response to the Salviti Challenge and in honor of President Emerita Joanne Boyle total almost $1.8 million. And there's no one who knows better than the Boyle family that Joanne's greatest role has been as a teacher and mentor. And so this Joanne Woodyard Boyle Health Sciences Center will help ensure that our students are well prepared for graduate study, research, and careers in science and healthcare. So with love and gratitude to you, Joanne, Thank you, Michelle. What a wonderful recognition for Joanne, her history, and what the legacy she's leaving us for the future of Seton Hill. Now I'd like John Boyle, Joanne's son, to join the podium. Just a little taller than Biddy, so let me get this. <laughs> um, I don't know whether there's any truth to this, but I've heard that uh, my mother's uh, joining us on closed circuit television was prompted by the fact that every single member of the Boyle family responded in the affirmative that they were coming here today and they wanted to make sure we were on our best behavior. <laughs> so uh, my mother uh, is watching us and we indeed so far are all on our best behavior. That includes my father. <laughs> I've had the honor to speak on my mother's behalf on a handful of occasions in the last few months. Uh, and I'm struck by the variety of occasions that uh, have led me to the podium uh, for her. She has a vast array of awards and commendations from a wide variety of groups uh, this obviously is the penultimate award and uh, event for her. I can think of no better way to crown a 25-year career as president 
uh, decades as an educator, years as a student, than to name a building in her honor. The, uh, one of the awards that, uh, that she received over the past few months was an interesting one. Uh, she was named to the Seton Hill Athletic Hall of Fame. <laughs> And my youngest son, Wade, who is a hockey player and a baseball player and is just active as any active eight-year-old can be, uh, when we told, we, unfortunately, he had to come to the dedication, <laughs> uh, but he enjoyed it. And, uh, but his question to us when we told him what we were doing, he said, Wade, we're, mom, our grandmother's receiving an award. She's being inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame at Seton Hill. He looked at us and said, Grandma? <laughs> and then there was a pause, and he said, Why? <laughs> uh, and as I told the group that story, uh, uh, and some of you are here today, so thank you for the indulgence of repeating it, but as I told them, uh, I thought about it, and I thought long and hard about it, and I finally came up with an answer, and it was because uh, Grandma has vision. Uh, she has an incredible vision that spans many different venues. It's not just about her being an English major and a doctorate in English and reading. It's about athletics. It's about science. It's about art. That's what led grandmother to get all of these awards. It's her vision. And not just her vision, but it's my mother's dedication to that vision. And it's not just about her dedication to the vision, it's about her ability to bring others along with her on that long, arduous trip to build these buildings and expand this college and improve this community. And it's the willingness of others from our state legislators and our Congress people and our United States senators and governors that she's worked with over the decades and the members of city council and the different mayors the board of trustees who believed in her and who worked with her side by side, and the alumni and the benefactors. It's nice and wonderful that my mother has her name on that building, but if she were here today, and I know she's thinking this, well, she's probably thinking, John, you're going on too long. Um, <laughs> but she would have all of your names up there alongside hers. Actually, she probably wouldn't even want her name up there. She would just want all of your names up there. So my mother, she told me uh, when I asked her what I need to say today, she said, John, just two words, brevity and levity. <laughs> keep it short and keep it light. So she would want to say thank you to all of you. She's humbled, she's grateful, but most of all, she's thankful for all of your efforts to make not just this building, but all of the buildings and all of the expansion of this campus possible. And with your indulgence, um, and my family doesn't know I'm going to do this, so they're going to be mad at me, but I've got one more thank you, and I need your help. So please, come join me. Yes, Morgan, you too. <laughs> come on up, guys. Oh, yeah, you're the best yeah, looking. <laughs> Mom's watching. Get up here. <laughs> No, there's, there's one last um, thank you that we as a family need to make. Well, there are two, actually. Um, thank you on behalf of all of the Boyle family. Um, and Mom, thank you. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. And salutations from Joanne Woodyard. And uh, she wanted me 
to uh, impart a, uh, a sentiment. Uh, we all agree that uh, this building in, in her name is well deserved. And uh, Joanne's discipline was not in the sciences. It was in the arts and letters. And uh, she wanted me to convey this thought to all of the students that are going to emanate fr from this wonderful new science building. She said, I hope that they are well read. <laughs> As a matter of fact, right now she's preparing a reading list for all of them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, John and Art. You have definitely captured the essence of Joanne and what she's, the legacy that she's, uh, she's given us. And I can't wait to see that reading list. I probably need it too. <laughs> it's a real joy to have so many members of the Boyle family with us today. And I'd like you to give them one more round of applause for what a special family. Now I'd like to ask Christine Delgram Farrell, a member of the class of 1979, a former trustee of the university, and the alumni, co-chair of the campaign, to please come to the podium. Thank you, Interim President Bibiana Borio. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you today. In my role as alumni campaign co-chair, I will be meeting with you and reaching out with many of you in the next upcoming several months as we work together to complete the Salvetti Challenge. We will be hosting events for alumni and friends in the region and beyond to advance Seton Hill's plan for campus expansion. Thank you for your con continuing devotion to Seton Hill and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Christine, a tireless and generous supporter of Seton Hill. Now, I would like to, um, to ask Sister Susan Yoakum, who's the professor and chair of the Division of Natural and Health Sciences at Seton Hill, to join us. Thank you. As you mentioned earlier, Health Sciences enrollment at Seton Hill has more than doubled in recent years. More than 500 students and more than 35% of the freshman class are enrolled in Seton Hill's core programs of excellence in pre-med, physician assistant, biology, chemistry, and nutrition and dietetics. This growth is tied to outstanding classroom and laboratory instruction by our dedicated faculty. Seton Hill is always examining ways to provide programs of study that will increase students' marketability in scientific careers. We emphasize hands-on interdisciplinary learning and close faculty-student collaboration. Seton Hill is pleased to be in the forefront of regional efforts to train the healthcare professionals and science innovators of the future. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Susan. The Joanne Woodyard Boyle Health Sciences Center will help Seton Hill University ascend to a new era of distinction in, in the health sciences. And with a university that has as its motto, hazard yet forward, you have to know that we're not going to have just a shoots, suits and shovels groundbreaking. So I would, in, in uh, trying to top the groundbreaking we had for the dance and visual arts 
where we had some very creative uh, participation. I'd like to ask the members of our, uh, our uh, program to join me here. We, uh, we have a little controlled experiment to, uh, to do for the groundbreaking. No suits and shovels. And Congressman Murphy. official end of the proceeding, so please <laughs> take an opportunity to, uh, to stop by and talk to some of the students and watch and have them give you some uh, examples of what they've been working on. Thank you so much.